Hi guys, welcome to Red Sweet Outdoors. Time for an overnight tour. And uh, the weather is kind of on off. And uh, one minute is sunny and the next yeah, I can feel some droplets of rain. So let's see, it's a race to the campsite. Let's see if I get there before the rain. So tag along. I beat the rain at least and uh, uh, maybe I get some sun today hard to tell right now uh, kind of mixed skies very gray over there kind of bluish over there and somewhere in between above me but <clears throat> I was lucky today I've got my favorite place uh, it's Sunday afternoon uh, and I have a bonus week of vacation and uh, as I went here I met one canoe after another that was going home and my favorite place is easily accessible by canoe but not a place that most stay the night because uh, this hasn't isn't equipped with a Dana hut like uh, the other places around the lake so uh, I think it's popular for kind of having a grill when you're out with the canoe but uh, if you are several it's uh, not the most ideal place to put up camp uh, we've been two here at one time and uh, it was kind of okay-ish uh, there's one good place but uh, not really two so uh, most people don't stay here very long but I was lucky and uh, some time ago I did uh, a challenge uh, a 9 liter challenge and today it feels like I pretty much did the opposite uh, a 90 liter challenge well only barely I have uh, my backpack is 85 liters and uh, it was almost f filled to the brim but like took everything I thought I wanted to have uh, kind of luxury items a chair, a little camp table an uh, extra ground sheet because I know it has been raining like crazy for a couple of days we had this storm Hans uh, swept over us in the beginning of the week and uh, it was kind of miserable uh, Gothenburg got kind of lucky uh, just some small floodings, uh, but nothing major. But in other places, uh, all roads were blocked. Uh, you couldn't get out of your house. So um, we had good times, or not. But uh, now uh, they promised somewhat good weather, uh, modest winds. Uh, the forecast speaks of rain uh, around midnight and in the wee hours uh, but as I said I felt some droplets on my way here uh, even if it's sunny now I think my first order of business is actually to put up the tarp so that I have some kind of shelter um, and then it's time for dinner and uh, I'm totally famished. I was supposed to be here a couple of hours ago and uh, I got stuck in traffic. Uh, I don't know if it was, was an accident or if it was the fact that uh, there is a football game 
taking place today and there was supporters everywhere but I was sitting on uh, public transportation for something like an hour extra so I'm feeling there's definitely place for something to eat okay enough about that time to get the shelter up The camp is starting to get sorted. My tarp is up, my ground is down. And everything is kind of ready for downpour if it comes. If it gets really windy then I have some more stuff to do because uh, it's not really secured for hard winds. But as long as it stays medium, I'm good. And the kettle is on, coffee is brewing. <coughs> And uh, when I've had my coffee, I'm going to start cooking. And today I'm going to try something new again. I said in an early video that I have three things uh, that I bought that is waiting to be tested. And as a matter of fact, uh, today's new thing is also from Trangia. Oh, and the coffee is ready. That's good timing. Put out the flame. And while I'm up, I get the new stuff. Oh, hi. Like so. Um, this is something that's new for me. Uh, Trenge has made a saucepan. Uh, the ordinary frying pan is about this high, and this is approximately twice the size at least. It is as high as you can get it and still be able to get it closed. And it's a non-stick. And uh, there have been a number of times when I really have <laughs> wanted a saucepan. Um, I'm doing something like, for example, pasta bolognese or something that doesn't fit in the fry pan, so I have to do it in the kettles. And it's not quite the same thing. So today I'm going to do pasta chicken Alfredo. And uh, this will, uh, the final touch will be in the saucepan. So I'm uh, 
a bit excited about trying this one out and uh, I hope it turns out to be a really good dish. Well, I think the coffee has sit, settled enough. Tablespoon of cold water and it should be ready to serve. Well, it's windy as heck, and I hope the microphone pick can pick up the sound, but let's see what's on dinner, on for dinner today. So, let's put on the water, and go for a boil. It's an interesting weather today, I must say. I hope that the mic can handle this one. So let's see what's inside the, my bag of tricks. Spices comes later. Butter also later. Garlic. And, and we have some pasta and some parmesan. Uh, the recipe calls for fettuccine really, but uh, if you've seen fettuccine, you know that it's this tall and it's supposed to put that down there. So I figured that it's much better to go with tagliatella, that fits nice. So if you think it's wrong, well, then it's wrong. A piece of chicken breast, some oil, some spices. Heavy cream, more garlic, I think that's about it. A mini grinder for the parmesan later on. And while the water is coming to a boil, Put this as some kind of a lid to make it go a bit quicker. I will prepare the chicken. You can have several uses of toilet paper, not just doing number two. But I want to make sure that this chicken breast is really dry before I start putting on spices and putting it in the frying pan. And here I've got, we can call, some uh, Italian herbs and i got something here that is mixed, nutmeg. So let's start with uh, putting this on the chi 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 chicken and this is oregano, rosemary and thyme. Salt and pepper. And I've seen on YouTube that you're supposed to take the salt and drop it like this, but since I'm not afraid that this chicken will bite me, I like to get close and personal. Black peppers. And some paprika to get a nice color.
have a boil. Maybe not the most rolling, but good enough. So let's put down the pasta and put that on a timer. Uh, I'm not doing the pasta really done uh, because it's gonna sit in the water for some time and get even more ready and then it's going to be really done uh, with the sauce so uh, it's not even al dente right now and on with the saucepan and generous amount of oil and there I think we have a good heat on the oil so let's put down the chicken While the chicken is frying, I will chop up the garlic. I think we are ready to do the other side. Last little minute, we add some butter just to catch the taste, chicken, and the seasoning. And it will be the start of the sauce. And we we'll move the chicken here. I'm going to pick that one up and down with the garlic. And while the garlic is getting warm, we are going to cut up the chicken in smaller parts. Time to add something more, some nutmeg. And let's add some cream. And start grinding down some Parmesan cheese. Let's add it to the sauce. And let this boil together. Real thick and nice. Just add the chicken on top.
Ah, uh, some parts. There we have it. Pasta chicken Alfredo. And for that I'm going to take a can of white wine. Um, I've never tried this one before. I have no idea if it's good. Uh, I went on the recommendation. This was the smallest wine container I can find. And it was supposed to be good to bird. So, two chicken, white wine. Well, not too shabby. Chardonnay, Dimiat and Muscat. It's called Leva, and uh, that's the Swedish word for living. Um, it's not from Sweden, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bulgaria. Well, let's try this out. Hmm. <laughs> what can I say? Life is good, and one can argue that this is two servings, but uh, for me. <coughs> <laughs> this is the first thing that I'm eating today. I uh, was planning to get her much sooner, so I had another meal prepared, but I got here later. So uh, this is brunch and dinner in one, and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. <laughs> Cheers! It's kind of strange of drinking wine from a can, um, but nothing wrong with that really. Just I'm not used to it. Well, every now and then the wind dies down totally, and uh, I think in an hour time or so before sunset, uh, it will be dead calm. But then we'll probably start blowing during the night again. I'm going to putter around a bit and make sure that my tarp is properly anchored because I am in no mode whatsoever to wake up in the middle of the night and fix things that I've had to do at other occasions. And uh, since it's going to be raining I'm going to Secure everything that isn't meant to be wet inside the tarp and probably inside the backpack too. <coughs> well, <coughs> things don't always go as planned. I had hoped to be here much earlier and have two dishes out, but um, now it turned to one, so a breakfast lunch and dinner at half past six in the afternoon. Well, guess it works. Even if it wasn't according to plan. And I think I'm going to enjoy a book later on when... It seems like all other guests have left the building. Uh, every now and then it has been really loud here and people going to and fro in canoes and small rafts <coughs> and whatnot and uh, they seem like they have no inkling whatsoever how good sound travels over water 
So even if they are pretty much across the lake, it's it sounds like they are right behind me and shouting. So, uh, well, well, what can one do? But uh, things seem to quiet down a bit now. And that's nice. Mm, I'm going to enjoy the last of the wine and then it's probably time for some more coffee. Sun is setting. <laughs> Probably already has set, but uh, it's still a little light dwindling uh, in the forest. And uh, I've been sitting doing kind of a spatula of sorts. I will use tomorrow. But uh, now the mosquitoes are driving me insane. They are absolutely brutal, so uh, it's time to crawl into the sleeping bag and call it a day. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you then, but now, good night. Take care.